It looks like, yeah, he might be coming out for this. Now, Lasha does his little cross in his chest. The TO actually there also did the same <laughs> as Lasha came around the corner. Either fearing for his life or wishing Lasha the best. The engineer who designed the stage probably doing the same somewhere. Yeah, I think Gorman Asin gave him the biggest scare yeah. on that opening attempt. Okay, 217 kilos. Oh Bedas Salimi, Krastev, Gore have all done 16, but he is the only one. Wow. Yeah. Just so, so staggering. And we have to just take a moment to appreciate how unbelievable that is. We've been spoiled over yeah. the last five, six years with Lasher, where if he doesn't snatch 220, we're asking ourselves what went wrong. But at no other point in the history of weightlifting have you been able to sit down at a competition and watch someone do what we've just seen. Yeah. I, you know, watching this, I almost feel bad for Georgi Asenidze because he's such a great strategic and tactical coach. But it must be so boring to coach Lasha because he just makes his lifts and wins yeah, every right. time. Yeah. So my heart goes out to him. <laughs> if, only, if only it was a little more exciting for you. <laughs> a little harder, yeah. And so, yeah, and, you know, we talked, we'd, we'd seen him in the training hall. We'd right. seen the body weight when we arrived here. A lot of signs that pointed to potentially not being in the best of shape. We don't know, we didn't know what that deficit was. Right. And now we're seeing, you know, he's, he's eight kilos off his absolute best. Certainly had more in the tank, mm -hmm. but playing this as maybe a more conservative competition for him at some point. He probably needed a little bit of rest. He was just doing meat after meat, crushing world record after world record. For those of us who hit the genetic lottery and even know what it's like to squat or deadlift these weights, we'll know better than anyone how impressive it is to put it overhead. Oh, I've not seen him do that before. Oh, wow. wow. That is um, really interesting. And you know what? Thank goodness Lalian didn't make that 252. Wow. If you're in George's, wow. if you're in Lash's Georgian camp, you have to imagine that had he needed it, he might have been able to put a little bit more in, but there's absolutely no guarantee that he would have made that. Yeah. The clean. I hate to be the bearer of bad news to people out there, but Lallian did it better. Yeah. That's the first time we've seen someone potentially, uh, you know, had Lallian made that 252. Yeah. He's, he's pulled out. He has he's pulled out, fast. yeah. I was going to say, the last time we saw Lasha miss a third attempt clean and jerk, 2012, um, I can't, he missed a second attempt back in 2015. Wow. Uh, 247 kilos, but hasn't made a third attempt. Now, wow, okay, so that is the end of the men's super heavyweight category. A spectacular turn of events. Lash Talakadze did sneak the gold, but 462 kilos. I'm looking through his numbers. It's been a long time since he ever made that. I'm going to have to wrap up here very quickly because I'm actually running backstage to do a quick interview with Lash Talakadze. So, Lasha wins 462. Lalian, silver 451 and uh, Manassian 446. I'll be back in a few minutes. We're going to keep this live stream going, but for now, uh, thanks for tuning in. Microphone on? Just had to check, you know. Be in a frame. Yeah. I don't need to be in a frame. Oh, okay. I don't need to be. No, you did, you did. Asha, congratulations. You look up. Good. Quick question. In the training hall, you missed 240 kilos. How much were you willing to risk injury to win that competition? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, Russia is saying that I, w I, I would consider all the circumstances and of course I'm always for winning, but uh, today it, it perhaps one of the worst is performance and I would say that uh, I should be have I should have been doing better yeah. and I hope that Bandana there will be. Yeah, as, uh, yeah the major majority does know that I had a little bit injuries in my left, left leg, but uh, like the uh, well, actually, I didn't I didn't perform as I was supposed to be performing in my in my best days. But yeah, I would uh, I would do maybe a risk for the medal. Uh, but today there was no much of a risk needed to win the medal. Absolutely. All right. And then one final question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, um, you can have more. You're an incredible athlete. How much of it comes down to you, and how much down to the amazing team right. around you, Georgi Asenidze and your team? What really are you down down to the sportsmen? You have to do such any iradi, such an irad gamaju versi randi na di dad gusik alps bundi. Absolutely, uh, being part of a team is not only uh, it gives me not only the the secure the, the, the security it, it gives me uh, I would say he would say that. Uh, empowers me in, in a sense, so I'm, I'm participating in each and every lift, if not physically, then morally or in, in, in the soul. Amazing. And then final one is. Is 500 kilos still a total that is your goal to hit during your career? Oh, that's how they are. Who does they are? So, I don't know. 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 I don't uh, the, the, the 500 kilo is always considered yeah. and I'm training to that number I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to deliver I'm trying to deliver this number at each and every competition but the circumstances do dictate several uh, several conditions yeah brilliant. all right, all right. Well, thank you so much Lasha. we're uh, all motivated by you congratulations Some for you. thank you all right all right cheers good one Okay.